Hi, and welcome to the Brand Couch Special Edition from Iceland at Charge Energy Branding. I'm here now with Alex from the International Hydropower Association. Welcome. Welcome. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Great. Um, so, quick question, Alex. What do you do? What does your organization do? And why are you here? So, um, I work for the International Hydropower Association, and we are a worldwide not-for-profit membership organization. We have members acti active in over 100 countries, oh, wow. and we represent around, and, and membership represents around one-third of the world's installed hydropower capacity. A third? Yes, so, oh, wow. um, yeah, so that, that, that's pretty significant. But what we're aiming to do as an organization, the direction that we're going in, is that Hydropower, um, the hydropower sector has a very powerful story to tell about the role it can play in the clean energy transition. And when, um, when it's developed sustainably and responsibly, the benefits that it can provide to people and communities around the world. So we have, in the last 18 months or so, been aiming to build a global coalition of progressive companies and regional and national associations mm. um, across the world um, to create a more coordinated way of, of telling the, sec the sector's story. Mm, very yeah. cool. And then in that regard, uh, we talked about it yesterday, and bring it up now, is uh, you had a Global Hydropower Day, which was like a proper global action day, which you coordinate efforts, communication across the globe. Tell us a little bit about that. How did that go? Well, yes, so Global Hydropower Day, um, well, uh, uh, as we speak now, it was last week on mm -hmm. Tuesday, the 11th of October. It was the first time that the hydropower sector has tried anything like this. Most of the energy sources have a global day of action. Um, hydropower is one of the, is possibly the world's old, oldest renewable mm -hmm. energy source. Um, but essentially, um, this was one of the latest step in our, in our in the work we've been doing with, with the coalition of um, hydropower companies around the world, but we wanted to create a focal point to, so we could shine a light on the human benefits of hydropower and tell those stories about um, how hydropower, when it's developed in the right way, has, uh, has tremendous benefits to people, to communities, to environments, um, but, but, but connect that with, with people um, and not, not in an abstract way that's only talking to policymakers. Because we, we want policymakers to recognize the role that hydropower can play, but then we recognize also that, um, uh, that, that we need to also be speaking to people, to the public, and, and making that connection between the role that hydropower plays in, in, uh, in advancing communities and advancing energy systems. So and just to sort of go to the, you know, the mechanics of what you just did, because obviously we're talking about branding, and this is a branding conference. So you had to coordinate quite a lot of different communication departments in order to do this, no? Yes, well, part of the reason that we wanted this to be a coordinated effort, not just um, us telling everyone else what to mm -hmm. do, but um, listening to what the different challenges and opportunities are in, the di in different parts of the world, is that the hydropower sector has not been as effective as other um, uh, other sectors in terms of being coordinated and consistent in telling its story. Mm. Um, the role that hydropower plays is very nuanced and it's quite challenging to, um, uh, to, to, to kind of focus in on, on, on one particular aspect. But there's certainly, um, we can certainly do better in terms of explaining how sustainable hydropower makes a difference and the role it plays. So we wanted Global Hydropower Day to be um, kind of our latest step in mm. having a coordinated, consistent message. Mm. Um, and, and that's where the role of that, that coalition comes in. Um, and, and when I think about branding, I think about reputation. Um, and the way hydropower is perceived um, is not always consistent with, with, mm. with the role it plays today in the context of climate change. Mm. So building that consistency of messi uh, messaging um, in different uh, regional and local contexts, um, to create, but, but having a unified global message at the same time, we felt that that was the way we should be going. And Global Hydropower Day has been a way that we can, that we can take that latest step. Awesome. Mm. Alex, we could talk about this for many days, I think. <laughs> uh, I thank you very much for hanging out on the Brand Couch. Guys, if you want to look at what Alex is doing, you can look at hydropower.org, right? That's correct, and, yes. And uh, thank you very much, and goodbye from charge.